Hey guys, this is Blake with the Three Hand Hunter channel. Thanks for joining me today. And I'm excited to show you a few, what I like to call grab and go pieces that I have. And um, this is a, a really unique video, I think, because um, when you are a watch enthusiast, there's probably an evolution or a kind of a process that you've gone through over the years where you just don't even like quartz watches. And uh, believe me, I was there. I, I had been there. I spent uh, many years, n n and if I heard a watch was a quartz or an eco drive or a solar, I would just shun the watch and say, you know what, I don't even want anything to do with it. But over the years, I do appreciate having a couple grab and go pieces in my collection. And they're like any other watch that I have in my collection. I tend to cycle through them. Um, there's one here in particular that I'll probably keep. Um, longer term, uh, maybe even forever, and I'll tell you the reason why. But I wanted to kind of show you some of these watches because they're cool and they're and they're beautiful. I, I'm, I'm one of those enthusiasts now after 20 some odd years of going through watches and, and wearing so many and going all, all automatic mechanical to, you know, now, you know, having some quartz pieces in my collection. I really look at all watches and I can find beauty in pretty much every one of them. And that's kind of where I'm at in my journey as a collector after 20 some odd years. But I wanted to share with you guys the beauty in, of, of these quartz watches and I think you might really enjoy them. So let me start off by saying that I have a unique um, lifestyle in getting up extremely early. Uh, my work day starts very, very early in the morning. It's usually before the sun comes up and I don't wear my watches to bed. I just, I never have. I don't like having anything on my wrist when I sleep. So when I get up, I like to throw something right on my wrist immediately. Sometimes it's so dark and if my watches have, are, are all sitting on the side or I want to switch something up, I'll grab, a, I'll grab one of my grab and go watches. I also use them for other reasons too. You know, you know, people use like these, these, uh, these G shocks and I know so many G, G shock fans and uh, this is my only g-shock right now and i do enjoy it and i use it for a specific purpose camping and shooting <laughs> by the way that's not the only watch that i use for shooting and make sure you subscribe to this channel if you're interested in seeing a video that will be coming out in a few weeks on some of the best some of the best watches to use with firearms if you if you guys are into that kind of stuff make sure you subscribe to the channel please do and look if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed to the channel, why not? It's free, please do. If you like the content, please do it. Thank you, appreciate that. Okay, so let's talk about these in particular, and I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on them. Uh, if you want to see one of these in particular be in depth reviewed, I'd be more than happy to do that for you. Uh, I wanna do a couple of things, just like getting some basic dimensions down, but I wanna, sh I, I, you notice I've had this chronograph in my hand. This is a kind of a rare vintage Citizen. Do you know why I bought this watch? because it's a Panda dial. I love Panda dial watches and I've owned so many over the years and um, you know, they just catch my eye and I really like them. But when I started researching about this specific citizen, this is a one, 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 one hundredth of a second chronograph. Now check this out. Let me get a little closer here. It's got this really cool one, one hundred. No, I, are, are you ever going to time anything like that? Maybe, maybe not. I, it's, but it's pretty, pretty neat little function here. Um, but it's cool. It's a fun watch and it's super thin, uh, super comfortable. Oh my gosh. Let me see if I can get the uh, measurements here for you. I mean, I think it's 40 millimeter, maybe less. It's uh it's about 39, 30, no, it's about 40. It's, I guess it's a, roughly a 40, but super thin. I mean, that's the thing about quartz watches, right? It's, you know, just over, just over 10 millimeters thin. Uh, and I put this uh, aftermarket, um, kind of, it's not, you know, this, um, oh geez. Now I just thought, forget it's, it's like my, I had an old tutor that had the same, um, bracelet on it. That's not a president's. It's, not, it's super, it, super comfortable. And these are solid links. Uh, end links are not solid, but it's a generic generic bracelet and it wears like an old SKX. It really, you know, if you've ever had the old SKX with the original bracelets, wears exactly the same. And uh, which makes this watch extremely comfortable and fun, fun to wear, really it is. Um, we go through some of the other watches really quick. 
This is uh, my G-Shock and this is the uh, GA2100. Most people are very familiar with the Casio Oaks. I wear this, you know, when I work out, if I'm going camping, if I'm shooting a firearm, these, this watch uh, pretty much will do it all. It does wear a little bigger. I think this is what, 46 millimeters. So because they are a little thicker, um, you know, they do wear, they wear bigger, but it is a G-Shock, super light. And I love it wearing it on the NATO because of the way that I use it um, in tactical firing type of situations. So that this is a uh, this is a cool watch for me based on what I do. This is a Timex MK1 chronograph. Now <laughs> you might see the similarities to an IWC. Obviously at 60 US dollars, it is nothing like it IWC. It's the it's extremely inexpensively made. But you know where I saw this watch originally? I saw this watch on a blog to watch video from Ariel Adams, which I'm a huge fan of a blog to watch. Um, I've been reading their blogs for probably 15 years, maybe 12 years, um, ever since blogs became a thing. He, Ariel has a great, um, a great, uh, uh, collection of watches too. And he, he had this one and he showcased this on a YouTube video. And the reason why I liked it so much, first of all, the colors are awesome. This, this leather strap at 60 bucks. I mean, this is a, this is extremely comfortable, very tapered, um, matching. Look at the black, um, uh, little threads through the, uh, through the, through the strap, but notice the matching buttons. This is an MK one. You can still find these on eBay for 60 bucks, this exact model. And all the other MK ones have like these silver buttons that doesn't match with this black PVD case. But this is actually stainless steel from what I understand. Um, but you know what? These are extremely comfortable and they have, this has the, uh, the, the uh, Indiglo. You can't see it right now because of the studio lights uh, that I have, but I'll show you uh, what it looks like in the dark, it's actually pretty neat. It's a cool, cool watch. Um, it's fun to wear, especially, you know, if you're gonna wear it as a grab and go. Now this is my Citizen Tough, and this watch is a 42 millimeter iron, uh, iron ion plated watch. This is the ProMaster Tough BNO21702E. From what I understand, these are out of production now, but you can still find them. You can see mine's pretty beat up. If I could tell you, uh, and I, and I, again, I cycle through watches. I'm a, I'm an enthusiast. I go through them quite frequently. This is the one that I'd probably keep. And I probably will keep, I wear it on a NATO. I don't put it on the original strap. Um, but it's been beat up. It is tough. It's great to, it's great to use with firearms, which again, I'm going to show you the video and I'm going to show you some slow-mo what that looks like, but it's an eco drive and you know, if I have to replace the battery and send it back in a citizen every five years, every 10, some people say they'll last for 20. That's fine by me, but Sapphire crystal, and it, it's extremely, uh, an, a very well-built watch. This is a monoblock case, right? So you'll notice, excuse me one second while I open this up for you. And let me see if I can show you the back this case. Ugh. Sorry. Should have thought about this before I started filming. You'll notice the case, is, there's no case back, right? It's really cool. So you have to send it into, um, you have to send it into Citizen USA to get any work done on it, which is fine. I mean, if you, that's, and you know, I can talk about the drawbacks of, a, of quartz, but you guys know it's replacing the battery. I mean, that's the worst part about it. And, you know, there's a lot of arguments that people say, oh, well, you know, you have a quartz watch. It's got no life. It's got no inside. It's got no heart. I've heard all that. And I believe that for a long time. I cannot tell you for how many years I shunned wearing a quartz watch for those specific reasons. But I've really, over the last, like I said, 20 some odd years, really learned to appreciate having a couple pieces in my, in my, um, in my collection. And it also gives you the opportunity to have a little bit of flexibility, a little bit of fun. Um, they they typically are way more inexpensive. 
um, than the mechanical counterparts. And I would say my mechanical watches outnumber my my uh, my quartz watches at least f you know five or six times six to one at all times. But that doesn't mean that I won't try them from time to time. And uh, I, I have my eye on a citizen that I'm looking at right now that I really, really want to get and I really want to do a review for you because I think it's super cool. Um, and it's vintage. It's not one that is in production anymore. So it's just finding the right model so I can show you guys. But like I said, if there's any of these you'd like to see an in-depth review on, please let me know uh, in the comments below. I will do an in-depth review probably on at least a couple of these and get ready because I have a video that I'm putting together of using firearms with some of these and other mechanical watches and giving you my opinion on what the best watch to use with a firearm. So if you like to see them in action, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for tuning in. My name is Blake and I appreciate you spending your time with me. And by the way, for today I'm, I have a blackout, one of 50 RZE Endeavor watches. This is a really cool, very limited production watch. I enjoy it. But uh, <laughs> if you made it this far, guys, let me introduce myself. My name is Blake. I'm a bit of a watchaholic. And if you've made it this far, you probably are one too. Thanks for joining me today and spending your time with me. I'll see you in the next video.